Thrivecart Hide Pricing. In this video, we're going to cover how to convert a Thrivecart checkout page to not show the price prior to the second step in a multi-step checkout cart. As I mentioned, this only works for multi-step checkouts. Unfortunately, it needs to be custom for each shopping cart. And we're going to use the Chrome browser to set this up. And the link down below is the code we're going to use and modify. And here's what the code looks like. So let's dive right in. To start with, you're going to want to go into your Thrivecart account. And I don't know if this works on all of the cards, but I do know it works on the sales cart and the standard new carts. Probably will work on the legacy. Not sure about embeddable and pop-up, nor do I think you'd want to. So you're going to want to go to design, launch the editor, and we're going to use some custom HTML code right here. So I need to drag this somewhere on here. And I'm going to put this near the top because I want to make sure it gets loaded quickly. So we're going to enter some code here. Now you want to go to this URL here, copy this code, and we're going to make some edits. So here's the code before we've modified it. So there's three pieces of information we need to find this, this, and this. And like I said, we're going to use the Chrome browser to get that information. So you want to view your checkout page prior to making some modifications. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We need to find information about this block of code and this block of code. So to start with, I'm simply going to highlight payment. I'm going to right click and then inspect. And I'm going to scroll this screen up so I can see what's being highlighted. Now notice if I put my mouse over different things down here in this black area, it highlights different areas. So really I want to get everything. And I also want to block out the coupon code. You could exclude that and have that show. However, um, I'm more interested in just getting rid of all of this. So I want to put my mouse in the right spot. Now that's just the total payment. That's still just the total payment. So there, that is everything. So the first thing I want to do is I've highlighted this. I'm going to right click on it or click on it. Go to copy, copy selector. I'm going to go back to my code and I'm going to put this right in repla and replace that right there. That goes right there. Now back to my page, I'm going to hi I'm going to right click on this again. And instead of copy selector, I'm going to copy the JS path back to the code. And then right here, I want to replace that right here. This is the price. Okay. And the last one is the button information one. So I want to come up here. I'm going to right click on continue and click on inspect. And again, I'm going to move my mouse around and really it's the button that I want to highlight. So I want to right click on that copy, copy JS path back to my code and replace this right here. Okay. So there we go for this specific checkout. And I'm going to copy all this code, go into thrive card and there's my custom HTML block. I want to click on this, paste it in, click on done. Next, next complete back to here. I can close this now and I'm going to refresh this page and there it is. It's hidden. So I can type in an address here, click on continue and now it shows up. So that's how we can hide pricing on a Thrivecart multi-step checkout.